let's talk money so if i told you that you are potentially ignoring over 233 million people would you believe me that is the number of people worldwide who live with vision impairment according to the world health organization and i will leave some sources in the description below to see that we are actually not talking about something that we are imagining these are actual numbers these are statistics and if your website is not optimized for accessibility you have already excluded all of them from your audience instantly and let's face it we often obsess over seo ad campaigns conversions but we ignore the simpler things like can everyone actually use our website and accessibility is not just a checkbox it is one of the easiest way you can grow your audience improve user experience and even boost your seo so let's take a step back a little bit and have a little overview accessibility is not just for users with permanent visibilities it's about the real world people reading on mobile in the fun people who cannot read small texts without glasses and let's face it you and i like to build websites that are fancy but not everyone can read our small text because we wanted to make it aesthetic accessibility is for all of them and yes i understand that it might sound that disabled people are a minority but as you have seen if you have looked at the sources below they are not really a minority as we imagine a very small number of people there are millions and millions of people that you are you are practically deleting from your audience just because your website is not accessible and i have talked about this plugin before and i like it because it's very user friendly it can be used by beginners by advanced people and it's very well integrated with elementor because it's made by the elementor team and the name of it is ally you've heard me talking about it before i will also link playlists with all the videos that i made about it and link it in the description below if you want to go through those videos to just have a different view or perspective on what we're talking about here when it's, it comes to accessibility. So I will just show you a little demonstration to, sh to see how easy it is to use. And as I said, this is something that is becoming mandatory by law. Let's get into a little demo. All right, I have a full on website built up uh, here. I am in the back end, okay? So I am going to go to plugins to show you the plugin I'm talking about. So this is it, Ally Web Accessibility and Usability. As you saw, see, it's built by Elementor. And once you have imported the plugin or added the plugin, installed it, you will see that it appears here left-hand side on your dashboard. And it's going to look like this, okay? So the way you access it, just click on it. Because we didn't do any work uh, in terms of, of accessibility on this website, there's nothing here, okay? I'm also using the free version of this plugin, so you don't have to pay for any of these things that I'm doing. All right, so we scan the page and it seems like we have 36 issues found, okay? Um, Those are a lot of issues, you know, it is what it is. So what we can do now is fix them, okay? So let's go to alternative text and we have some arrows that have no description or they're not marked as decorative. So I'm just gonna call them arrows, okay? Arrow actually. No, uh, let's just copy paste this because we might have to add it somewhere else. So these are easy to fix. What was that? I can't see what it is. And no, what is it exactly? I cannot see what it is, to be honest. So I am going to move to the next one. Okay, we can say inst Instagram icon. You can name it as descriptive as possible. Yeah, so I'm not going to go through this but you know we understand how this should work so all right so we fixed one issue <laughs> yeah we're three percent down um but i just want to move a little bit faster through this because i don't want to keep you too long like, i just want to show you how this works if you are on the fence now we are at keyboard and assistive technologies this is crucial for people with disabilities and we have quite a few issues here actually six not major issues, but still issues. And it says link purpose unclear. Not sure what that means. And I will be honest, you know, I don't know. So what's the issue? If you don't know what something means, uh, because some things are a little bit more technical, I would say, you can 
hover over this eye and read to see what and how to fix it. If the links don't clearly describe their purpose, people relying on assistive technologies may not understand where the link will take them, making navigation confusing. That makes sense. And I think this is something that we need to go back in the back end and fix it ourselves where it is in the widget. And I assume this is, ah, it's the logo. Yeah, you can see it here. So the logo, I think I could just name it website logo or something like that because I don't have anything on it. So that could fix the issue. In another, another way you can fix it, if you have the pro version of this uh, plugin, let AI resolve this for you. So that is something that I would honestly pay money for because I don't want to deal with these things. I want to fix these things, but I don't want to deal with these things. So again, up to you, but you can also do manual labor. <laughs> Uh, the thing is that this tool, this assistant, because it is an assistant, it's going to tell you for free where the issue is so you can fix it. Otherwise, you would be clueless. Let's face it, I wouldn't know that this is an issue that people would have on my website. And that what that person who has issues, it would be part of my audience. A person who would actually purchase something, but because my website doesn't work, did we not? Again, see it like that, money lost. So yeah, it's money lost. That is one person who will not come back to your website because they cannot purchase. I will make a note of all this interesting, but probably very common things that we need to fix on websites. And I will make a more comprehensive video showing you how to fix this because I'm sure these are some things that you will encounter as well. So let's go back to page structure. Okay, the issues are not that massive. Our problem is the contrast. And to some extent, I have to agree, but that was something that the client wanted. She's very, she likes the muted contrast and I was not a fan, but you know. Anyway, so as you go to color contrast, click on it, you will see that you already see the item that has issues. It will be surrounded by this blue border. All right, so you need to fix it. Either you fix the text or you fix the background or you fix them both. In my case, I don't want to change the background because the background is what it, what it says here. Yeah, so this is the part, this is part of the palette of the design. So that's not something that I want to change, but maybe I could change the text because it's an issue. So let's see what happens. Okay. So, uh, maybe I have the feeling that the white was better, uh, had better contrast, but who am I to judge? I guess, right? I'm going to apply the fix and now we're on the next item, which I don't see. Where is it? I'm not sure what it is. The next one is this and then, ah, it's hiding here. It's basically the, what do I, do I close it? I don't want to close it. Um, it's hiding right here behind. So basically it's the same things. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna skip that one because we don't see it. So again, we have the same issue here. I mean, I, again, don't want to change the text because the text is part of the, you know, it's a specific white that we use. And also I don't want to change the background. So I'm gonna skip this. Um, I don't know how this could be fixed. Uh, so we don't have to change the design because in this context, we are changing the design. So how I would do it probably. So yeah, this is what I would think that we, we could do. So instead of having, you see, this is your page. So this this is the item in the center, what we have here. If I go to the next item is the next container. So what I would basically change is, is basically the background, make it a little bit darker. But what I would do, I would go back in the back end and go to this section, the hero section and make the background darker. And then this wouldn't be an issue. I think this is something again, that I need to try to see if it works. So I apply the fix. Then again, we have the same issue. I'm not going to go through that. And again, these are some easy fixes, but also, you know, I'm not sure I want to change the color of the, look at that. So that black is better. Although I actually, I think I remember that I recommended this to the client, but she did not want to have it black. Anyway, so I think you get it. So if you want to manage the fixes, let's say, 
you know, I decide that I don't want this black in the end. I don't care. You go here and you see here, active four out of four. Go to disable them or remove them. Yeah, so I'm going to remove them, remove fixes, and this will remove all the changes we've made in terms of contrast. So we can do another scan. We can have another look. It's going to take us back to the... We still have to refresh the page for this to, I think, take effect. Let's see. Yeah. So as you see, it's just uh, changed the text back to how it was before. So I don't know. I'm speaking a lot. Yes, I know. But also these are important things that we need to address. It's something that needs to be done and we have an assistant now so why not pass this on to the assistant right so if we go here to to this uh, three dots we can clear the cache which probably i should have done which would have cleared the changes uh, manage headings let's see Ooh. okay so we are only having one issue here okay i don't mind this. So heading skips a level. Change this heading so it's in sequence with the levels above and below. All right. So I guess it's an H4. So then and the next one, it's an H4 as well. Okay. H5. Oh, what did I change here? Hmm. All right. The heading structure fixed. What else do we have? Let's see. We can view all the scans, manage headings I said, view your subscription. Let's see, view all scans. It takes us back to our dashboard, which is fantastic. Okay. We scanned one page. Yeah. One open. Oh, we have open issues 29. Okay. Okay. It's clear. Um, I love this because at least I know what I need to do, right? There are more things here that we can address, but I'm not going to go into this because this video would be very long. And what I wanted to show you, let me go to pages and I will show you that actually you can scan all the other pages from here. Just scan URL and it's going to scan it for issues. And again, you're going to get the same assistive, uh, you know, whatever you call this bar on the side that you can work on and fix the issues. Also, I would suggest you try the AI assistant because it's very, very cool. I used it and I will link the video in the description below. I actually will have a full playlist uh, where you can actually have a look and uh, decide for yourself if you want it. But it was so easy to go through the things that needed to be fixed because I didn't need to look into it. Yes, we have to be knowledgeable of all these things. But when you're pressed by time, it's, you know, we don't have time for these things. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you have questions, any questions. I will make another video, as I said, which will go more into detail. But until then, let me know. If you'd like to see what else we can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.